I'm Amy Wilde. We're out here in the Darling Ranges. Fingers crossed gonna find a few critters, maybe even some reptiles if we're really lucky. It is a bit overcast though, so I'm not too sure, but we're gonna do our absolute best. Follow me, let's see what we can find. Unfortunately, when you do want to find something, you're going to have to spend a bit of time to do it. You're going to look under a bunch of logs, a bunch of rocks, before anything turns up. But you've got to be in it to win it. Let's see what we can do. Oh, wow! Whoa! Okay. Can you see this? Wow, so this is a type of Eurydacus, or a Eurydacid, a kind of scorpion. Check out this massive stinger. Wow. Come on, little one. Whoa, what a fatty. Now the cool thing is, this guy might look absolutely fearsome, but she's actually a big teddy bear compared to her cousin, the Boothids. Now they're much smaller scorpions. They've got a big stinger proportionate to their body and tiny little claws. So what the Eurydacus does, is she uses her massive claws here to pin down prey and hold onto it while she can sting it numerous times. The Boothids, however, don't have very strong claws, but with their massive stinger and powerful venom, they only need to get one little jab in to finish the job and have their dinner served up. So I would rather get stung by this one than a much smaller boothid any day. Beautiful Eurydacus, look at her. And she's got absolutely no interest in stinging me. She's cold, I've just picked her up from under a log. And she just wants to go back to her little hole, doesn't she? Wow, all right then, back you go little one. Back you go, oh beautiful, look at that. Back to sleep, night night. <laughs> Here's a beautiful old Jarrah, still somehow alive, despite being almost completely burnt out by fire. <gasps> Here we go. Guys, I found a western eel of skink, Hemiurgus initialis. Have a look at this guy. So this beautiful western earless skink is actually a type of burrowing skink. Can you see his long body and tiny legs? This is a perfect example of almost reverse evolution. So once this guy had massive legs and ran along the ground like every other type of skink, but over time he's found that deep in the leaf litter and loose soil, there are a lot less predators and a special type of food source that he can get to, unlike the normal guys. So unfortunately this is one of the things that gets confused by lots of people with baby snakes. You can see he does have tiny little legs. He actually has five tiny toes on each hand and foot. And when you are identifying these sorts of burrowing skinks, counting the toes is actually one of the first things that you do to try to ID him. Now something else that you might not be expecting is this beautiful yellow belly. Can you see that? Wow. Absolutely gorgeous little guy. All right, all done for the day. I hope you enjoyed that. We saw that wonderful little eel of skink and the massive scorpion. Thanks for watching. I'm Amy Wilde and I'll see you next time.